This is a glimpse into my life. Life with Eric. Eric's here. And I'm Kylie. And I'm Eric. Okay, I think we know who you are. Oh. So I have a bone to pick with you. I actually have a few bones to pick with you, but I'm just going to stick to this one. I have a bone to pick with you. You're not, you barely looked at me in the intro. I looked at the camera. Oh, okay. I figure the audience was more important than you. The only bone I got to pick with you is in my pants. Okay, that's too much. Okay. <laughs> Go ahead. This, I think, I, I, this is a downer podcast already. I, let's just, I think let's I just need, cancel it. Dan I need, scratch the whole thing I out. I need to give a little backstory. Go ahead. To my bone. Go ahead, but I don't like... The, it, it, starting on a negative is not good. You seem to think that it's going to put you in a horrible light, so that's why you don't like it. Right. I have no idea. Go ahead. What are you talking about? All right. So if literally the day we got Nora is like the last time I ever went to the gym. It's been a solid six months since I've been to the gym. You still go frequently every week. And our buddy Gabe, who runs the gym, is like, where's Kylie? Where's Kylie? You just keep saying, I don't know, is your response. Your response is, I don't know. So much, to, I don't know, that he asked you if you got divorced. He was joking. I don't think he was. <laughs> I act finally... Go back to the gym and see Gabe. What do you say? And he's like, hey, good to see you. I'm like, yeah, don't get a puppy. And he's like, oh, you got a puppy? I'm like, yeah. And he's like, well, Eric still makes this the gym. I'm like, Eric doesn't take care of the puppy. What's a puppy have to do with going to the gym? Because the puppy kept me up all night for many a weeks. Oh, well, I, I don't know. I, I, so I, you, I see Gabe, but everything's fine. You denied getting a puppy so much that he thought you got divorced. <laughs> I never even led up to that. That's I have no so idea. That's so bad. I'm sure that was just a joke. I could just say it probably wasn't. He probably was dead serious. <laughs> like we got a puppy, and Kylie stays up all night. I, I don't know what I don't know what the deal was. He would ask me, and I said, I don't know. You got to ask her. Why didn't you? But you fully knew it was because well, of the job. Why well, don't we blame a puppy? It is the puppy. Okay. I was not sleeping through the night at no. all. I was waking up like three times a night. I well, thought you were going to say, talk to everybody about her mad at me today, not because of the, that, that. But no, that, that's, that's a good probably one. not as exciting. Oh, okay, that's a but good like one. But, like, who, like, why can't you just say, oh, we got a puppy, and she's tired? I didn't think of that. <laughs> I didn't know what was wrong with not you. Not like, or oh, is everything okay? Are you guys getting divorced? <laughs> nope, we got a puppy. <laughs> I'm sure he was joking. I don't think he was. <laughs> I don't think he was. I think he probably was really concerned, like, I'm seeing you a lot, and not Kylie, and, uh. Oh, really? I never yeah. thought about it. Yeah. He probably sees couples coming in the gym right. all the time. And then one slides off, and he's like, oh, Oh, no. there must, that must be wrong. Right. I'm sure he – actually, now that I think about it – He probably you, really thought you know, that. If you're at the gym and you work there every day, you see all kinds of – You right. see couples come in together. You see, you see couples meet at the gym. You see right. couples leave together. You see couples fight. And then all of a sudden, he doesn't see you anymore. Right. And then when he asks me, I'm like, I don't know. Yeah, I keep seeing – I don't know. It sounds real suspicious. Like, oh, I don't know what she's doing. She has a different house now. <laughs> <laughs> she moved out of the country. Right. <laughs> I have no idea. I never, th I never thought it sounded bad like that. It does. It sounds bad. <laughs> that's pretty. That's pretty good one, dear. <sighs> well, I just saw him, and and uh, he didn't even know we had a podcast. I told him to listen. Maybe he'll right. listen. To he this. learned this week that we have a puppy and a podcast. Right. Maybe he'll <laughs> listen to this one now and be like, "Oh, they are still together. It's okay." Right. That's pretty fun. Why don't we just go to the gym together? You have to go with me at like five ten. Then I will. I will. We'll but go together. Gabe's not there. <laughs> oh yeah, he's not there. Well, let's go early, like five in the morning. Then That's be been my problem. Is the Nora has like screwed my morning schedule. Yeah, I know. All right. Well, I don't like to blame. I would never want to blame the puppy. It is. It's not the puppy. It's a puppy. It's like when you have a newborn. It screws your sleep schedule. Oh okay. It's. So you, I have to find that that schedule again now that she's pretty. She's getting pretty self-sufficient right. now. Right, so. other than our ralphing, our, our midnight puking. I know, the dog week. had the flu. Dogs, I guess, can get the flu because ours had it. Yeah, because that's the only explanation. She and puking in the house, and it was horrible. Not really. She kind of did it all outside. Well, I mean, she did it outside, I guess. It was still horrible, though. It was a crate accident, yeah. but last night was outside. We, last night we went to the uh, Kentucky Derby Gala for the— um, Right, um, what, for St. Albert's. Go? Yeah, St. Albert's, and they were School? auctioning off— Oh my God! A thirteen-week-old puppy that the looked silver, a silver lab. And it was he, massive. Yeah, it was a male, and he looked huge. I was like, "That's going to be a big boy." I think he went for fifty-two hundred dollars. Yes, he did. Fifty-two fifty. That's a lot for a dog. Yeah. You got some toys and crates and shit with it, but still, I was laughing. Head. So whoever you know, they obviously went in the 
in the thing figuring, oh, we're going to pay like five grand for this dog. We're going to outbid whoever or whatever. They want this puppy. When they get home with that dog after the gala. Do they have to take it home tonight? I don't know. They get home and they're probably like, what did we do? We just got a 13. A 13 week old dog can be real bad. Eight week old, they're still sleeping like a baby. Well, 13, he, he, he was out late last night. So he was probably tired when he got home. I know, but do you think they're like in the morning so, or something? Yes. Oh my God, the so dog think, just shits in their house and like, so, why did we buy this dog yeah. at the auction? Are we Last insane? night, he probably just passed out, but today is a whole other story because he's probably not potty trained at all. I mean, no, no, because he's been in the shelter or whatever. Probably, yeah, where they could, probably kept him outside. Oh no, he was from a breeder, but they right, still, but they probably yeah, kept him they outside. They probably have multiple dogs yeah. and all this kind of stuff. But And so he's used to just peeing wherever. Yeah, but these people who bid on, oh my God, we got this for the kids. It's going to be such a big surprise. Or maybe it's like, like a hunter. could be a guy oh, that's a hunter. I don't know, man, but they really wanted this dog. And Ugh. so. I mean, he was a cute, he was big. He's going to be a big boy. Yeah. Silver Lab, he kind of looks like our dog. Kind but of, he's a but he has a different coat. Did you pet him? Yeah, yeah. He has like different like a coat. Yeah, it's like thick, thicker, softer, probably maybe. Yeah, I, well, it may be softer. I don't but yeah, know. Yeah, I just was looking back. I'm like, he's way bigger than Nora was. I thought it was pretty weeks. funny. This guy was, you know, taking him around in a wagon to show every table. So when the right. bidding came, the it jacked you want, the bids you up. You want the puppy, and the guy just starts talking. The puppy just jumps out of the wagon. He did, I know. And the guy's just talking away. The puppy's rolling. He around. He also was walking around with a glass of wine. <laughs> Who, the guy? The guy oh. with, the, with the wagon, yeah. Oh, okay. The I'm puppy. like, have another glass of yeah, wine. He's walking around pulling oh, a wa- walk em- your puppy. an empty wagon while the dog's probably taking a shit on the carpet somewhere. I know. I didn't see them ever take him out, so I'm like, that dog's got to go potty. They go yeah. like every 30 to 45 minutes at right. age. So I don't look at it as whoever's bidding that puppy like they won something or they got something They good didn't win. Because it's like, <laughs> yeah, they're, they're, they're like, this is like, wow. Right. Puppy, puppyhood is torture. Yeah. Like, it's a damn good thing that are cute. Right. That's what they got going for him. Yeah. Everybody wants to pet the puppy, get the puppy, sleep with the puppy. Snuggle with the puppy until you've had the puppy for 48 hours. And then you're like, why yeah, did we like, get a oh puppy? Oh, my God. It's shitting. It's, yeah. it's doing I've this. It's doing that. I cleaned up 17 stains. <laughs> I haven't slept. What did you think about the gala last night? I mean, it was not, Well, I didn't get to enjoy it very well, but <laughs> it seems nice. You want to tell everybody why you didn't oh, yeah, enjoy I don't, it? I'm a, I'm, I don't care about that. I, no HIPAA violation here. Nope. I... Literally, like, when we got there, got a UTI. What's that? Bladder infection. Urinary, Urinary tract, tract infection. infection. Yep. How would you get it right when we get there? I don't know. That's like when it flared in hot. You get it from that petting that puppy or something? No, I got it before the puppy. Oh. You don't get it. What? I don't know. Pet the puppy and go wipe, and then you get it or okay. something? I, I don't know. It doesn't quite work like okay. that. <laughs> I just guess. I, I have no idea how it really works. On top of the fact that I thought that I could wear, like, a five-inch heel. Nope. Those days are done. So I was, right. mi- I was in many ways miserable. Like, I, you put those shoes on, and you said how horrible, and they're, I mean, I they're nice-looking like, <laughs> shoes, and how horrible they are, and then well, you still wear them. I didn't have any other ones that, like, matched at the moment. We were in a hurry. The Uber was there, so I'm like, screw it. It'll be fine. My and ankles like, will cramp a little bit. It's fine. You're like, but these are Jimmy Choo's. Right. Don't buy five-inch Jimmy Choo's, because they fucking hurt. Right. And so you buy all these expensive shoes, and now you got to get rid of them. I'm going to sell them. No. Anywho. Just give them away. No. I would have left him at the gala. I would have left him at the gala. She had auctioned him off at the gala no in kidding. a silent auction. Um, on top of the fact, I don't know about this. You probably didn't know this about girls and heels and feet. What? As you wear heels like, and the night goes on, your feet kind of swell. It's right. It's like a fact of I life. I kind of figure because they always take them off and carry them. Right. And so if you take them off, your feet start swelling, and it's very hard to put them back on. And you took them off 100 times. Oh, my God. And I was dying every time I put them back on. What I was laughing about, and you have this weird fetish that you won't walk in hotel rooms without shoes. Right, but I sure walked everywhere last night. She's walking in the nasty I, yep, old did not care. Silver Must, Legacy yep. Casino. Did you walk in the bathroom? No, no I told no, no. you. I, put a, I told you, you, I said, you're going to walk in the bathroom with well, no you're shoes? Like, well, you kind of like, you're, what are you doing? I'm like, putting my shoes on. You're like, why? And I'm like, I'm not going in the bathroom without shoes. It's your feet, you wash it. Ew, I don't want to step in like some pee. Like, what do you do all day? No, that has nothing to do with that. <laughs> nothing it to do with that. It me of that movie, The Green Mile. I kept saying, you remember The Green Mile? The Green Mile when Tom Hanks had the black urinary infection. Did you the think whole time. I was all night I was going to die of a UTI? I don't think you're going to die. I oh, thought okay. it was going to be worse than it was. But we were home. Let's put it this way: it was it was you know, we usually kind of last to leave right. always. We, d- we yeah. were home by nine thirty. We didn't get to do the dancing, which I was real sad about because I yeah, didn't no, want to dance. We had no dancing. Missed and the dancing. We left. Yeah, I know. Aislinn and Virginia were cutting a rug. We missed out. Right, and our our uh, Uber driver out there, he loved my outfit. The driver there to get there. Yeah, the driver home. I didn't talk. Well, why to don't you. you explain what your outfit was? I had a, a corn cob hat. I was going to say not a corn cob hat. I had a, a stra- derby hat. I had a straw hat. I had plaid shorts. Yep. I had white Vans. Yep. And then I had a white sh- uh, 
button-up dress shirt with a bow tie and a blue blazer. Yep. It looked pretty good, man. You did. Yeah, it looked pretty. I was I was so happy because I didn't want anybody to be wearing plaid shorts but me. Nobody did. To a nighttime formal type thing. A lot of people had plaid pants. I didn't see any plaid pants. Well, I mean, they, I saw not some, like, plaid, but decorative pants, yeah. let's call it. You know, dorky That was going to be my next one if I couldn't find you any of these shorts. Oh, and I'm glad um, I got the shorts. But I love the shorts. They remind me of the 80s. They bring me back to my you, youth. You, Yeah, they came in the mail good. yesterday. And my Uber driver was like, oh, my God, I want those shorts. Right. But at right like noon yesterday, you tried them on. And I went on like a two and a half mile walk with Nora. I came home. You're still wearing the shorts. Right. You kept wearing them all afternoon. <laughs> right. I wore them all the way till we went out. <laughs> so I think I then like, I'm going to wear these shorts all summer. I am. Which is fine. They're fine. They're really comfortable and they weren't even too expensive either. No, like they were literally shorts. like $36. Right. Even though I told the Uber driver they were $19.99 they were or not. something like that. They I don't were... know why I had that in my mind. I think because I went to Dillard's yeah, that think, day. Oh, they, oh I yeah. I saw some shorts for nineteen ninety nine. They were not nineteen ninety, but what, not the thirty six. Yeah, well, you can't even get a freaking euro for nineteen ninety nine these days. Right. So why do you can get shorts? Right. <laughs> Go figure. But uh, they had an auction at the gala, a live auction where you did. We didn't bid on anything. No, we did not. No, because there was nothing interest me. Just like, that puppy. I, I mean, didn't a want Tahoe that puppy. house, all that stuff. Yeah, just the puppy or whatever. And, I didn't want and, a puppy. Um, I don't want another puppy. Yeah. Did, did your sister get anything from the silent auction? Um, she did bid on something, but she got outbid, and I think she got it got to the point where she didn't want to. That was oh, too much for her. Oh, she was. So she did not win anything. She was maxed. Yeah. But I thought everybody was dressed up pretty nice at the auction. Yeah, there was the, a lot uh, of. Everybody uh, went with the theme. It's well. It's Very, kind of an there, easy. There was other hardly than anybody hats. not yeah. dressed up there. It's you just kind of wear a dress and then like a hat. Yeah. I was so a little embarrassed because my friend from swimming said he's going to be there, <laughs> and so I'm going to the bathroom and I see this guy and I'm looking at him and he's looking at me and he kind of. Well, you told his, to me you're like this guy is staring at me. Yeah, and he kind of tilts his hat to me and I go, oh, this guy's staring. I probably know him, but I can't think of who it is. And I know this guy good. I see him right. every morning, but usually see him in the pool wearing a speedo and stuff without right. a hat and everything. And uh, finally, he walks through. He's like, "Hey!" And I go, "Hey!" And I go, "Oh my God, it's you!" And I'm so, an idiot. I was so embarrassed. I was As embarrassed because, been, yeah, I was. He didn't. He didn't seem to mind. And we talked for a while, but um, I was. I was embarrassed because I'm like, I was. Right. Lo- I was As actually. You should be. I was actually no. looking for him. But what am I doing? Looking for this guy in a speedo? You uh, know, like, what I am I looking not. for? Yeah. I should have been thinking, what is he going to wear? Right, a hat, a guy in a hat. No idea. And everybody did have hats uh, on. Pretty much every no male idea. had a hat on. I never seen him in a hat before. Right. And so no idea. So you you're know, okay. I can I'm see picturing that. a guy holding a gym bag, wearing a fucking speedo <laughs> with sweats. with some, holding some spins out there. I'm like, what am I looking for? This is ridiculous. <laughs> Good lord, he was literally at the table next to us. Right, I'm an idiot <laughs> staring at me, so to speak. And you know, right. and I'm just like, oh my god. He's like, yeah, I was looking right at you, and you were looking like at I'm me. Still... And I'm like, I didn't know what to do. Were I you froze. Drunk? How many cocktails were no, you? No, I in? wasn't really drunk. I was oh. so worried about you with your urinary thing. I was at that drunk. point. I did not have that yet. <laughs> You cannot blame that. Well, I was worried about you. Were you? Yeah. I don't think you were. Yeah. That that's worried. why I said, oh, we got to go. Just don't have it next week. Don't, don't. We gotta- I shouldn't be. I'm on antibiotics. Thanks to Teladoc. Uh, thanks that the uh, pharmacy or whatever is open on Sundays. Right. Where you can get a prescription. So. Yes. Well, better. I'll test your pee out later. See How are you going to test my pee? It's bright I orange no right idea. now. I don't want, no one wants to know that. TMI, man. That's so <laughs> gross. Ooh. Well, any female that's ever had one, they tell you to take your antibiotics and then this. Why is like, your blood orange? Is there blood This in azo. It? No, it's the azo drug that what? like numbs everything. It turns your pee orange, though. Oh, maybe it has a lot of vitamin B I in have it or no idea, but it turns your pee orange. I took that vitamin B complex thing yeah, you gave me last yellow. week. Because the doctor says start taking some B, but I just straight B. And you gave me like a. There's no such thing as a straight B, by the way. B12. Yeah, that's B12. There's like 17 Bs. Okay, but you gave me something <laughs> that's mixed with a all complex. kinds of it's stuff. It's all the Bs. It makes your pee like neon. It does. Like glow in the dark it neon. It does, like so you bright yellow. I, right. Well. Maybe I had one of those urinary tracts infection, whatever it's called. <laughs> <laughs> it's, it's not very common for men to get them. I can't think if I've ever had one of those. I mean, I would guess no. Do men? Well, men get them because the Green yeah, Mile, the guy had them. But usually, I think I may have had. I don't know. It's like a ur- You always have like an urgency to pee. Right. I've had something like that before in my okay. life. You know. But well, did you have to take antibiotics for it? Don't don't remember. You were probably drunk then. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that that could be it. Okay. <laughs> um, but the gala was good. Yes. I thought the food was really good. Yeah, the food was tasty. Yes, yeah, so that was kind of nice. Like a little barbecue, like Kentucky barbecue. Yeah. I couldn't believe you go to the bar and they didn't have um, 
you know, they, they didn't. What, a lot of times they don't have rosé. You like rosé, right? Then you said, "Well, give me a champagne." They have I champagne was, I was either. like really hot. No champagne my, or rosé. My rose. hat, head was all hot from the. Yeah, they so had, I was like, "Let's do like a chill, like the colder wines." Why didn't you get like a gin and tonic? I didn't want to go hard. Or gin and soda or something. I didn't want to do hard. Soda, tonic. I usually get tonic. Yeah. Oh, okay. <laughs> Maybe when gin and tonic took the urinary tract thing away. Probably not, but. I don't know. Just saying. <laughs> yeah. And then it was weird. I said, "Well, I'm just gonna go get a beer," and I usually want like a light beer. They didn't have. They go, we have an IPA and like a lager, but they don't oh, have. They didn't I was have wondering like why a, you came back with not a beer. Right, I they, didn't question it. I figured I you got, changed I your figured, mind. I figured, oh, they're gonna have a Modelo, a Coors Light, a Stella, or yeah. something like that. No, only a lager or oh. an IPA. So if you don't like the harsh beer, then and you don't like a red blend or a Chardonnay, you're screwed. Right. Well, that was free, but I yeah, I don't understand the whole thing there, but. I don't know. Next week, we'll see. We're at a different venue. See, a different gala. We're at a different they, gala, with their alcohol. different venue. What their yeah, alcohol so choices are. We'll see how it goes. And this, the next one next week is going to be a um, formal. Formal. Now we're just not dressing with a dirt. I mean, I still wear my plaid shorts, but. I don't think you should how wear would I look? shorts. <laughs> <laughs> Looks like we're going you might look really awkward next to me. Right. Right. I could wear those plaid shorts at Coachella. I don't think you were going to Coachella. <laughs> I don't think I'd fit in very well at Coachella. I don't think you would either. What a guys I see I see off the internet what girls wear at Coachella. They wear like 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 pinwheels, like windmill, <laughs> like those things that on their boobs yes. and stuff mm-hmm. and they wear like a metal a metal I think you just have to raid like my metal, closet. A college. metal my, top. Yeah. I think you raid my closet and that's what you wear. Girls literally will wear like a metal mesh top. Mesh, uh, yeah. yeah, mesh metal top yes. and and stuff like that cuz they they I guess right. that's it's it's like a fashion scene. Kind of yeah. Yeah. But for Not guys kind of, what guys wear I don't actually. Like, I know I've never, to, I'm going to be honest. I've never really paid attention to the guy fashion, so I'm not sure. Right. Like, what, they just I wear see t-shirts. them in pictures, and I don't pay attention. And I got, they wear T-shirts. I mean, I don't know. Now, if you went to stagecoach, after, that's after Coachella. You wear, like, a wife beater and cut off well, jeans, right? Well, that's, like, right? Country. country. It's country, yeah. Yeah. It's easy. I told my friend Ed, you better wear a wife beater to stagecoach with cut off Levi's. Oh, shorts? Shorts. Cut I, off shorts. I don't, he doesn't need to wear that. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he does. I think he'd look really good in that. It sounds like. Like a female should be yeah. wearing that, <laughs> right? <laughs> That's true. Well, does the female wear wife beaters? Maybe I used to in college all the time. Did you wear a bra? Yeah, like usually like a hot pink one or a black one, which was inappropriate. You wear a hot pink yeah. bra and a wife beater. Mm-hmm. Did people stare at you? Probably. <laughs> oh, God, I know. I'd never seen anybody in Reno. Oh well, do that. Should have seen my college days. Right. A lot of wife beaters. A, wife a lot beater. of wife beaters. Why don't you wear, I have wife beaters. You wear one of mine. What do you want? Okay. I mean, it's just the to same the, To your birthday party. I it's your so. birthday party. You wear what you want. Why would I wear that? I want you to wear a hot pink bra and a wife beater <laughs> to the party. That should have been the theme of the party. White trash? Everybody wear white ve- wife beaters. <laughs> oh I have God. a wife beater. A lot of people have wife In beaters. fact, my scene for acting next week, I'm going to wear a wife beater. Okay. Well, I can't take it from you then. I have different colors. Oh. I have black. I had black and as well. Out and of I had all gray. the wife beaters that I had, I have... I saved one black, one gray, and one white. And if I was trying to be conservative, I would put on two wife beaters so it wasn't as see-through. That's weird. I know. I don't know. You could, I, maybe, maybe you will wear those to Coachella next year when we go. We're, we're, we're going to Coachella no, next year. No, we're not going to Coachella. You know what? The one thing about Coachella, I did look up the bands because I was curious who's playing there because No Doubt was playing there, which right. I know, and a few others. I... They list the bands in alphabetical order. Oh, okay. And there's a million of them. Right. Just to get through the A's is like two pages of scrolling. Jeez. And yeah, I, I think there's a whole bunch of different stages and like. I'll tell you what. I knew about 8% of the bands. And oh. these are the most popular bands around that go to Coachella. I mean, if you go to Coachella, you're the you're the. I thought you, were, you kept your like finger on the pulse. I thought I did too. I must be getting <laughs> yeah. off of the pulse. Yeah. Like what happened to me? I turned old. Wow. I got to get back. Like I don't even know where you hear these bands. You got to be in sure LA either. or something. You got to be in the. I mean, because we mix. listen to like serious hits one and stuff. <laughs> this is beyond hits one. This is what right. the kids listen I don't. to. I'm and just I don't listening know to the Taylor Swift. What channel. they listen to? I know the Taylor Swift channel. I I go. Th- I can do three. Taylor Swift just came out with a new album. I, I, don't, know. I think everybody knows and this. They they repeat it. They put it on repeat. So I said, okay, I'll this listen to weekend, a few. This weekend, I can only did. get through. Th- they all kind of sound the same. They're not bad. It's pretty good songs. But I can only get through like three in a row. I can't keep listening to it. I only like drive long enough to get through like three. Right. And I'm like, I got to turn it now. But like, that's all I've heard is like three. Maybe for your your birthday party, we'll just put Taylor Swift's two albums, new two albums on well, loop. Just, yeah, I'm sure that'll go great. And everybody will love it. 
Well, thank actually, you. actually, everybody probably would. Probably true. People, were, even people at the gala, were talking about Taylor Swift's album. We were talking about it in I line. I think everybody is talking about Taylor Swift. Right. We we'll have to save this for when we have uh, Mary Tess on our yes, show because she's, she's a, a Swifty. Yeah, a major. She Swiftie, can give us so. some intel. I want to know yeah. like the Easter eggs that she puts in the songs. You know, Do you know about that. No, I okay. Would, I would never know about that. I don't care about well, that. Well, it's like every like stupid. song and stuff. It has like a mean, you know. There's like a meaning behind what she says. So it's like about somebody, or you get like learn things from the song. And so these like Swifties will like break it down. Does she to, like, really do that? though? Yes, actually, she does. And she knows about these Easter eggs. Yes, she does it on purpose. They call them Easter eggs, so yeah. you can find the hints. Like, right. oh, this one's about Jake Gyllenhaal. Yes. This one's about Kelsey. Yes. This one's about I Kelsey's remember. mom. Yes. And so maybe we should pre be like, give us some good Easter eggs. Right. Taylor Swift and uh, uh, Kelsey were at the Coachella. Coachella, yes. They were right in the mix. Yeah. They were at Lana Del Rey. That's like her best friend, yeah. Oh, they were at yeah. her, and they were in the mix of the crowd just going at it. I was listening to the Vile Files, and him and his wife, his wife really wanted to go see there. So they were at I Lana know, he's Del like your new podcast guy. I like favorite that. He, guy. He, he, one of those guys, kind of like Jack of Schimmel, I kind of don't know if I like them or not, but I like listening to he them. intrigues you. He intrigues me. They hold you enough, and and uh, surprisingly, he's a really good interviewer. I know you made me watch a you made me watch a podcast with him and Tom Sandoval and Tom yeah, Schwartz. He's a good interviewer, and he he is. He's, he's been really doing it a long good time. at kind of asking like a will make a statement. And he'll ask a question like almost like therapist ish. Well, he, he when they first, when he has a new guest, and I listen to it, he has a new guest when he first sent. He he usually says, "So, how's your heart? How's your heart? Yeah, he, yeah." He goes, "How's your heart?" And then they go, huh? Plaky? And they go, no. Well, no. <laughs> yeah. My heart. Jesus Christ. Like, what? Yeah, take your statin. He has young, attractive <laughs> okay. people on there, so not they don't, old, they don't gross need people. Pla- yeah. Don't <laughs> I don't think Daisy Kent, Daisy Kent from The Bachelorette, has a, she was on there, Daisy. Yes. And I thought it was pretty interesting when she was on there. Um, they had a really good idea. After she left, he was talking about her, right? And she, because she, she didn't want to be on The Bachelor. And he said, ABC. He goes, ABC is kind of stupid. They didn't fight harder for it. They should have paid her $10 million for but it. But maybe she really didn't want no, it. No, I know, but usually there's a number. And then they, she was worried about her health. They should have said, nope, we'll have all these doctors on staff for you. We'll pay you $10 million. He goes, he goes they they st- stuck to their guns and didn't give her what she would need would to stay. Would have done it, yeah. But he said they're stupid. And then they... Then his wife said, yeah, and don't you think they could have really mixed it up by her giving out daisies instead of roses? Oh, that would have been cute. Right. And they, he goes, I just think they missed their opportunity. They did. To blow the Bachelorette series right. out, out of because the ground. Because it, it was like after COVID or like when COVID, like it's been going yeah. downhill. Like yeah. with the two girls and there was that douchey guy in there. Right. I can't even remember his name because I hate him. Yeah. And, the, and Joey revived the he Bachelor He did, because they lot. did really like Joey. But, yeah, I can't even remember, remember like, half but of them. how good would it have been if she handed out daisies? That would have been really cute. And she's super cute. And he, they've never really actually had a real girl next door. And I know she has a cochlear right. implant, so the hearing thing. But the other thing um, he was saying is that by everybody in the world wanting Daisy to be the Bachelorette. I did want Daisy. They're not giving Jen. They just said, okay, let's just have this girl. I know. She's like, a, oh, okay. Just because she's the first Asian-American girl to be the bachelorette, they don't, they, Which is it awesome, doesn't matter. You still have to give a compelling backstory. I don't know her backstory. Nobody does. I have like, I don't really remember her much from the season because I don't think I liked her. I think she kept bitching about Maria. I think Maria. so too. And I, so I was kind of just like, she was just almost There was two like, like Asian-American girls. And they were right. both Leah and And, and I don't, her. yeah. And then I think that, and maybe they just showed her the producer's edited her as bitching but it was like that's like what her screen time was yeah D- daisy was friends with pretty much kind of everybody in there and she says i didn't spend that much time with her i don't really know much about her she didn't know much about her yeah so i think so i know, think yeah i think it's gonna be hard for yeah the viewers to well, like he, they, relate to he, her because they don't know her abc laid an egg on this one he said they yeah. were lazy that's what kind of what he said basically he said i'll watch but i just think they blew it they blew their chance to knock it out of the thing when she's getting right, so they daisies did. out instead of roses. She's like, that was would, a big that's thing. That's a good idea. And she might come back in a future one. Maybe maybe if this one, if this round lays an egg, she they might offer her it and revive it. What is this lays an egg you're speaking Isn't of? Isn't that good terminology? Like, Did you steal that from McVile? No, I didn't. Lays an egg. <laughs> Takes a shit. Whatever you want to call it. Like, okay. it does bad. Oh, that's, okay. That's what I mean by that. Oh, okay. But, um, and I found out some interesting news about this. What? The senior, the golden bachelorettes, right. Gary and Teresa, 
I only think there's hardly any any of them that got married got divorced. There was one of the first ones. I think they're the first ones to get well, divorced. Well, no, because Rachel, who was the— Oh, yeah, they got divorced. Yeah, they're getting—they filed for divorce before but there's that. there's very few. Most so of them the, break up. Almost all break up before they get married. Right, so they're like it's the stupid. first— You can't get engaged after six weeks. The first two, I guess. This, and, and that's within, land. like, six months, a year or something that that's this happening because Rachel just announced hers, like, in the past year. And I just remember Nick Vile's girl. She was— Vanessa. Yeah, and she was from Canada. Yeah. Yeah. Told you that I know, but I just now it just it, now it came just to came, you? her face came to my mind. Yeah, it's been like forty eight hours. Right, and you were okay. we were talking about that, but anyway, so um, we'll see what happens with the uh, bachelor bachelorette. Yeah, I wait. What's but, next? Bat- oh, bachelorette. Bachelorette. Next. Yeah, but this uh, um, uh, Daisy girl was very intriguing. She's actually that's why she would have been really good. But she's strong enough to say no to that, and then she's well, all, she does all this she's... other stuff going on, and she's pretty talented. And but she's she's kind of a girl next door and a goofball, but. She's but not she's out for the fame and the, the, you know. But she is. I don't think so. But I, think I, I don't blame her, though, because she probably is like, how can I go right back on the show? She was said what, what, her, what she was most worried about was having to get engaged. She's like, I don't want to be engaged after, to someone after, that tw- I don't know. after 10 weeks. You don't know somebody. Yeah, after 10 weeks, I'm going to be engaged, and now you got to take that person to your family? Like, right. you want to be engaged to Joey. Now you're going to be engaged to her. Like, right. Like, Joey how did can that. you? Joey, yeah, the, the, what's the girl? Chelsea? Chelsea, Charity, 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 Charity broke his heart. And you can't tell me. And then like, 16 weeks later, he's engaged to Kelsey. But at the same Kelsey. time, it's the same he's token. Ready. He wasn't really in love with her. Let's be honest. Is he really in love with Kelsey? Probably, Probably not. not. Because there's, it's so he, easy to be infatuated be. with somebody when you're going on these yeah. amazing, beautiful dates. You don't have the, yeah. the real life coming at you. You're not going to work. You don't have bills. You don't have, you know. That's why I think after The Bachelor, you need... Two year engagement. Oh, for sure. You know, do because you're doing press for like six months. Oh, yeah. So you don't really need to know you, each yeah, other. Yeah, you don't you're know still what real to each other. life is. And they're like, together. Oh, kiss in front of the camera for right. us. It's all fake. Oh, here's like your yeah. hundred grand from People magazine. Yeah. And who knows who better to tell us? Right. And have these interviews, you know. That's why it was like um, when Gary and Teresa got married within three months after, I thought. Suspect. You know what? They're fucking old, and they just want to get on with their lives, right? And everything else. But when they went, they didn't that, think it through quick. When enough. they went that quick, it doesn't matter how old you are. You still need to learn the people, and you still need to blend well, with their lives. If you're if you're living in two different states, like I get, they're like, we're gonna move to South Carolina. Well, that didn't pan out because both at the end of the day, they both didn't want to move right away from their families, and, it, and and they really wouldn't. But what happens with the younger bachelor people? They all moved to LA. Right. They almost Correct. all moved to L.A. or New York or Atlanta or something right. like that where they well, can. Well, you're there for the fame and fortune, and that's not what your relationship should be based off of. Right. I mean, I mean, all, almost all of them moved to L.A. because right. they have these, like, ABC has these bachelor parties. Right. And, you know, they all go and hook up and, and hang out. And, you know, I'm sure, I'm sure everybody who was on The Bachelor could go to Coachella if they wanted to. ABC probably I feel like is a they, thing. They do. Well, they. I mean, they do, and they yeah. always say, "Oh yeah, so and so hooked up at Coachella." Especially yeah. if they're going to be like on Bachelor in Paradise and stuff. Yeah, they, they go to these parties. Yeah. yeah, right. Speaking of the Bachelor series, and I, I don't know what kind of show we're turning into today, but it's kind of fun. Um, um, Colton, the guy who was gay. I just listened to an interview with right, him that's on what Jeff I'm Lewis. Talking about. He, he's married to a man now. Yes. And I said when that guy got on the back, I'm going to mark. You did. Mark, I, I'm, you I'm did. on a podcast saying this. I said from day one when he was on the when he was one of the contestants on the Bachelorette. He was on right. Hannah B's season, and um, he said he opened his mouth, and I'm looking at the guy. I'm like, this guy's gay. How is he on the Bachelorette? And then became the Bachelor. And, and then he became. He was so likable and everything. He became the Bachelor. Because like, oh he my was God, like the he's gay. The bachelor virgin. But he told on the interview that he's a pro football player. He had told on the interview with Jeff Lewis that he had hooked up with guys and just not girls. So he was a virgin with girls. Yes, he just didn't like disclose that. That's interesting. Yeah, he because they're like he was a virgin with girls. So you hadn't like hooked up with a guy or anything? And he's like, yeah, I had. Well, like at least that came out years later. Oh yeah, well he's married. Yeah, and And what did he do? He moved to L.A. Yep. Like they all do. Yep. Almost every one of them moved to L.A. because they want to be stars. Right. I mean, if I was doing that, we'd. I mean, if one of us were on that, we'd be like, oh, let's move to L.A. We got to do press all the time. We got to be around right. the. There's the, yeah. You know, the stuff and around all that, everything like that. So. I mean, have the people go on there because they want the the screen time that gets you, that gets you Instagram followers, that then gets you sponsors, that then gets you to parties and rah, 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 rah. Do you think if these two are really famous, they would move to L.A.? <laughs> <laughs> I forgot to change my board. That was awesome, though, right? Was that good? I mean. <laughs> Hang on. Let me change my board over. That was great. Wah, was wah. That was so weird sound effect there. 
Do you think <laughs> these two would move to L.A.? This segment of Life with Eric is brought to you by... 430 National. Great American Storage. America. And Reno Yard. For all your outdoor storage needs. I think they'd go to Nashville. Oh, yeah. Probably. <laughs> or Alabama. The new L.A. Well, Nashville... I mean, I think Nashville... I mean, for music, for sure. That's always been. But right. now... A lot of the Hollywood stars are moving to Nashville. I know. But not like... Franklin. They're moving to Franklin. They're moving to Franklin. Movie stars are moving there, too? Yeah, like Reese Witherspoon. Has, oh, no. She's in Tennessee. Oh, that's not Nashville. That is Nashville. Yeah, I'm sure <laughs> I'm she's in... Yeah, and she's then, probably you know, in Franklin. I yeah. know a lot of... I mean, Chris Cavallari was over there. Yep. In Nashville. And then, obviously, she has to be there because her kids and stuff. And then... Um, um, I think there's a lot of people that have second homes there. Right. I think it got to be a real Hollywood trend. Right. And the taxes and everything are way better in right. Nashville and stuff like that. So um, Nashville's fun. Mm -hmm. It's a good time. But I, I don't know how the Hollywood end would be in Nashville as much. I know they have, they have a Fox News now in Nashville. Well, no, outlet. I don't think they go there for, like, the scene. I think they go there to kind of get away. And they still have party time, you know. But they do, they're not in Nashville. I don't think you ever see any of them in Nashville. Well, I mean, the ones in Franklin, is it's, it's only 30 yeah. minutes out right. or less than 30. We've, we've been there. Yes, we have. Yeah. Um, you know, but I don't know the allure. I, th I think it's just kind of a place you can still you can still do interviews and you can still have right. that nightlife. It's and, getting it's kind of getting bigger. So and I'm sure there's paparazzi now. And right. So, you, so it's still kind of like going to. I guess it's and like it's when they, all these people go to yes. Palm Springs. Right? Well, and it's like they have nice restaurants if you want to go out. Yeah. It's you can have a house yeah. with land, which you can't get yeah. in LA anymore. Yeah. It's like all these uh um people, all these reality star stuff. They, they yeah. have places in Palm Springs. Right. Like movie stars probably have places there too, but not as many as re a, a famous reality star. Have. Right. Yeah, let's go to Palm Springs because it's like an hour drive, and yeah, it's a little closer. Yes. But um, um, also I, they're ha they're they're start Atlanta is getting huge in Georgia, is getting huge for movies and stuff. They're building studios and whatnot. So Which that's been a place they've uh, done. They've done a lot of shows, uh, shows yeah. a lot of shows in Atlanta historically. But now they're building studios and people are starting to move there. Oh. Because they're like, oh, if you want to be an actor, just go to Atlanta. Hmm. But now the next hot spot now is Las Vegas. Right. And Mark Las Wahlberg. Vegas, yeah, he's building a studio. They're building a couple of other studios. And pretty soon. Um, well, there's um, a lot of tax benefits to Nevada. Yeah. And so they're going to start. You would think well, they're, no, they're going to put movies. that train in, that fast train. The high speed train. High speed train, yeah. But it's I heard the high speed train doesn't go from LA, it goes from like. Somewhere. I, I can't think of where it goes from. Oh, it, it's going to go from um, Ontario. That's not that far. So you guess you would drive to Ontario and then you get on the bullet train and then go? It's not, Ontario's not that far. Yeah, from L.A., I know. It's 45 minutes, it's whatever. Probably less than that. From North Hollywood, it's really close. Oh, really? Yeah, yeah. so I guess that's where, where it's going to go from. I don't know why they wouldn't, I guess maybe they can't bring it Because Ontario's like on the outskirts. Yeah, it's like closer to Palm Springs. Because like, you know, when we go to Newport, you know, we're like that big area where like the Target and stuff is? Yeah. Right, as we're going like into the L.A. area? Yeah. It's you take that first turn and like Ontario is like ten minutes from there, right? So it's real close to like the highway, the main, like the third. So one of that bullet train is going to go to Ontario, and you can actually stop in Palm Springs, and then you can probably not. It's going to bypass all that and just shoot well, it's straight gonna, to it's Vegas. It's like it's like when you drive from Vegas to LA, it's just going to be like that. Yeah, I think it actually follows that highway. So it takes like four hours. The train will take like an hour and a half, two hours. I think it's going to be like two hundred miles an hour. I think it's like an hour. Wow, that's going to be awesome. Yeah. But anyway, I think a lot, a lot of, um, especially when the Olympics are in town yes. too, there might be a lot to do with that. But I don't know much. I about think it the, has a lot to do with the Olympics. We'll see if I'm right or wrong in four years. Yeah, I don't know much about the the bullet train. To tell you the truth, is that a movie? I know it sounds good. Oh, okay. <laughs> bullet train. We didn't even want to podcast uh, um, butter bullet. Oh, that's not that yeah, that's though. It's <laughs> a whole different thing. We found out last week with my mom on the podcast that for her to make me go poop, she used to put a suppository in and out of my right. butt. <laughs> And make me go. I did never heard of something like that before. I didn't know that babies got constipated either. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, they do? Yeah, and you got to oh. push on their stomach and stuff. And I thought that was if they were gassy. No, you got to, they're constipated. You got to oh. kind of push. And our, our kids used to get constipated all the time. Oh, well, it's you. It's your yeah. kid. <laughs> yeah. Butter bullet. That was last week. Speaking of last week, um, we got a lot of feedback on our, we, we've been doing these YouTube shorts now, which just gets us more connection with YouTube. And we get a lot of comments and a lot of comments. Right. When we put uh, about stay home moms, how more kids yeah. want to be stay home moms. Well, down, how I think that like it's going to turn now. that like, like people women. like that. It's interesting. A lot of the feedback was like with basically this economy, it's not possible. Yeah. My favorite one. Which I though, agree. 
we we got all these comments saying, you know, true that we like that, and then some comments saying, well, with the economy now, we both have to work, and yeah, life which, sucks, right? Yeah. In a nutshell. But my favorite one, this guy writes, and it it says, you know, do people want to be stay home moms? And it just says, I'm black. Didn't it say more than that. <laughs> I basically just said I'm black, and I started dying. I thought he had an opinion. It, it, it you forgot. You got sidetracked because that's all you. I started. I was crying, laughing, like I'm black. It doesn't work, or like that, or something like that. But I just. I mean, what he has a point. Yeah, I thought it was, <laughs> it was pretty funny. I was, I was dying. At least most of these people had points that I kind of agreed with. It yeah. was, but uh, the main, the main. Someone was said they cringe when they heard your voice. Oh, that's fine. I that cringe was funny away. Too. Yeah, the way she said it, cringe. They said cringe and oh, because they said a handful of women. They didn't like my handful of women. Why? I don't know. Oh, yeah. A handful of women. Cr- in cringe. Quotes, cringe. Yeah. I don't know. <laughs> I like when we get the dirty ones or whatever. I, I like when we get the comments that are nasty. I know. Which, and I told you, and I'm going to say it on here. I think because of literally we had how many comments on that? On that. A lot. Like um, most Lots. of the comments were about the state of the economy. And I told you, I said, whoever, whatever presidential candidate runs on the economy will win. Yeah. Because almost every, we, we were saying that, that, uh, that a lot of these younger women now, instead of working, they want to be stay home. And they moms can't. If they could. So every, Cause your milk is like $10 a gallon. Right. But every, every comment was saying, well, the economy wasn't so shitty. Economy, the economy, economy wasn't so shitty. The economy, yeah. economy. So whatever so candidate every runs off si- of, Every can't. single comment was about the economy. Yep, whoever runs off the economy is going to win. We were just saying that, you know, maybe times have changed and f- maybe some feelings have changed and, 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 and you know, they wanted to go back to what the 50s were, you know? Right. And, and, and a lot of people were saying, well, that was then, this is now, and no, blah, blah, blah. Well, and, which know. then there's like, unless we're taking it as anger behind it. Well, yeah, that was then, this is now. But as if, I mean, a lot of other countries, I don't know how much women work. I don't think they do. Right. So as, I mean, as much or whatever. I think you can. I think you can just literally blame the state of the United States economy on it. I mean, there's something to be said about the dad going to work and the mom controlling the household. And um, I mean, it's kind of. I mean, I it's kind of it. natural. You're, that's you're what. That's what's I mean, bringing school, home men are, money, but men are, you're doing your like do justice at home. Yeah, but you don't see it. Oh, like I can tell you, I'm even if both of us working, you don't want to come home and like vacuum the floors. Yeah, and the and the kids in their first five years of life, they don't want the dad. Because the mom no, is more nurturing, the mom is that's feeding really maternal. it. Yeah. They're like, right. You have to go to the bathroom. We'll go to the bathroom. <laughs> right. So I think um, it's like a puppy. It's like you don't. If they ever get this economy in check, right. to where the wages we're balancing make, out we're balancing more. Out. Yeah. Yeah. How and, housing you know, market is you're going to have a certain amount of women that, that insane. do want to be professionals and work. And oh yeah. Else too, but but um, anyway, but but people's it's mentality out there, young people that are in early twenties are like yeah. God. That must have been great, you know, and all right. this kind of stuff. So it's it's. I'm curious how it's changing. And then we got tons of com- co- um, um, comments on um, um, how there's not enough consequences out there for kids and stuff like right. that. So most of those comments were actually positive. <laughs> yeah, saying yeah, didn't make I know. Cringe. Yeah, no one, no one cringes your <laughs> voice on that one. <laughs> but uh, but yeah, if you like this podcast though, you can uh, sponsor us. We're still looking for another one. Or if you want some uh, hat or uh, stemless wine glasses, you can see them right here. If you look on the YouTube, it's right here. On the YouTube. Yeah. On the interweb. Yeah, on the inter, on the on the what do they call that? The uh, on the line. Oh boy. <laughs> see on the line, the kids go, Dad. The like kids don't the- even know what that means. What? On the line. Right, I know. They didn't. Re- they don't know those days. You had to they turn know off to take off the thing out of your phone and put it on the computer. Yeah, and they don't know the, di- the dial up. The dial up. And you yeah. wait and ring and ring and ring and it won't connect. Are you go, like, kidding me? Like you don't I like to wait. No one days. likes to wait for any. No. Like now the internet's not instant. You if get it, pissed. Yeah. Why isn't it loading? Like I am pissed. You used to wait ten minutes to get internet. Right. Is that ring and ring yep. and ring and ring? Quite an invention, though. It is. What president at what time was responsible for the internet? I, I know this. Just I'll give you Clinton. Yeah, you're right, and that's when all the um, uh, dot comers and stuff started. Like you know, on Wall Street and everything, all these companies started. You know, such as Microsoft and stuff. Right. Um, you know, these companies made all these young thirty year olds, yeah, multi multi millionaires. I know that right. they come into Tahoe and buying new yeah. houses and doing. I all remember this back kind of in stuff. the day when Amazon was literally you bought books. It was for books. You bought, bought and sold books on Amazon. That's yeah, yeah, it. that's how they started. Yeah, yeah. I bought some books. I think I bought school books. And now you Amazon. buy plaid shorts, right? Right. And a derby hat. You know what you could buy on Amazon? 
Actually, I don't know if you can, but you, you should try. <laughs> like you or, can't. Just, or just order this direct. Yeah, right. Don't buy it on Amazon. Honey, guess what time it is? Happy hour? Yep. I made your favorite Juicy Tits Vodka cocktail. Fantastic. Thanks, babe. Love you. And I love you. And your Juicy Tits. Go to JuicyTitsVodka.com to get your own bottle of Juicy Tits, where life is the party. Where life is the party. Speaking of parties, we're gonna we're on a roll. We got two more weeks of parties one, going on. Here. One down. At our party, we're gonna have juicy tits vodka. So, come join us if you're invited. <laughs> right. If you know where we live. <laughs> if you know come where we live. Us. If you know where we live and you're invited, come, come join us. <laughs> I mean, we uh, we I posted this. I figured, oh, this is a nice picture because Kylie and I are um, at the sunset in Maui and and the the. Um, the template that I use said beautiful yes, sunset. You got this and, new this new app that you're really yeah. Excited I got this about. new app that uh, you know gives you templates and and uh, it was funny because that was so simple and it got a lot of views. So oh, it does work. Yeah. Okay. Good. And it had played the trending song and everything. But so I posted within 30 seconds of my posting this. Skylar calls me up and says, "Oh my God, it's so embarrassing, Dad. You got shit in your teeth." <laughs> Hey, what do you mean? I can't see that. You had to zoom all the way in. Right. So she zoomed the picture in and saw Look shit in my teeth. teeth. Right. I looked at the basic picture on there, you and there's really nothing in my no. teeth. But you zoom in, there is shit in my teeth. Right. Like, how does she know that, and how does she zoom was in? Was she just looking for a critique? I don't know. <laughs> like, she's just looking to see if there's anything in my teeth. and But there was. And there and was. she's right. And I do it all the time. And last oh my night, God, at all the, the time. goddamn, oh my God, at the the goddamn Kentucky Derby thing. thing, I'm talking to Jason Kirby. And the fr- and his friend and I'm laughing and goofing around oh. and ca- I got this giant green thing. I didn't in my teeth. know this. I walked over there and then I'm I like, hate that. Oh my god, that thing is huge. Oh. I should assume every time I you eat, have something in your I teeth. have something in my teeth and I got to swish it out. You should just every assume that. single time. It's true because so most chances are you do. Right? How? Right. I don't know. You know how many times I've done this in my life? Because you floss your teeth too much. There's this a healthy gap in between there. <laughs> I have a good, I have a gaping gash between no. my teeth. You're I gotta, supposed to have like a healthy little gap like that for food to catch. Well, it does. It does. I could, I could catch like a whole stem of broccoli in there or something. So big. It's usually a lot of nuts and stuff you catch. <laughs> nuts is the worst thing. If I have like pistachios, it's the worst. And it's funny because you probably were eating nuts before we took that picture in Hawaii. Most likely, yeah, we bought all those we nuts had from all Costco. Those nuts, yeah, yeah, it probably was, uh, you know, toasted Some almonds. Almonds, yep, yep, definitely, it definitely was toasted almonds. Right. Ah, oh, it's so irritating. Why? Why me? Okay, those are your struggles. God, it's so hard to be you. Right. <laughs> no, <laughs> you I, get shit in your fake teeth. There's this guy. <laughs> there was this guy at the bank, dear. Yeah. What about him? What if you had his life? No, I'm just thinking about him. I like this guy too. He's a nice guy. He's like the manager at, the, at one of the banks that I go to. And at his elbow, his arm's cut off. He just says it. He has an his, elbow bone or no? I, he had, basically, just picture the point of the elbow being the end so of his arm. So he still has a bone, an elbow bone. Yeah. Like, like the, does it bend? I don't. Or no? No. Okay. It does not. So just it's, picture, a, it's above the elbow. Picture, what, what do they call this on the, the nibius? The, the number? Um, not the number. They call this a nibby or something. Okay. <laughs> a nubby? <laughs> They, there's a name for the end of the elbow. Weenus. A weenus. Yeah, so he has a weenus, <laughs> this guy. It's a weenus. How can you have a, then you has, he has an elbow still. Okay. Just picture okay. the joint doesn't. There's nothing to move on the joint is what you're saying because there's no lower half. There's no lower half, but, but the weenus is a ball. But he has the elbow joint still. The okay. weenus is like a ball of skin that so, it looks like okay. there. So it looks like a little flubber hanging there. Okay. That, that by his brain, that moves and points. So it's a ball, and it goes, it, it, it goes, right? I know. It's, and it, it's so, I just, you tell me this story, and the listeners so, can also think, how is this possible? So when the guy goes on the computer and helps you, his, le- his right arm is normal. His left arm is cut off there. So as he's looking at your paperwork and punching in the numbers on the calculator or the computer, he's using the tip of the elbow. But it's not like he's, when, when he pushes it, it's not like that's not moving. His brain is making it move like a half an inch I, mean, bink, I wonder bink, if they bink. like connected some like some nerves to like i don't know what it's like to watch it's amazing i know how does i'm so intrigued and i it's I, like it sounds unbelievable you i believe you but i know he's typing in any bank it, say he's typing in eric e-r-i-c yeah. he does it he does it like this and it, and but he's not just pushing it like it's stiff yeah the end is moving like he puts his, his brain, arm there and it like moves he puts his arm close to the e and it moves yeah. over and pushes the e it's so crazy 
but he's still going to move. You know, he has to move, move his it. arm a little bit. He has yeah. to move his arm a little bit, but it's going and it's punching the keys of the computer. And in my head, One I'm like, day you I, just I, gotta I hope ask he gets him. the numbers right because I, it looks like he can't hit the num. Oh, he is. You know, it's a big ball. He has to hit a little button. I know. You, you know. One day you should kind of just ask him. Be like, I'm morbidly curious, and I'm sorry. I closed my account there, and I can't. I, oh, like, dang I, it! I got to go back there just to do that. I guess. <laughs> <laughs> I got to open it. a new account just to ask him. <laughs> it, it's truly amazing, actually. I'm just like, wow. And his arms real skinny. He, he wears a short sleeve because I don't. He can't like do, you know, biceps like or anything. Can, correct. <laughs> you know what I mean, so it's like it's it's um. What do you call emaciated. it? Emaciated. Emaciated. Not, not emaciated. Oh, like no, atrophied. Atrophied, yeah. atrophied <laughs> a little bit compared to the other arm, but. Sucker can move. Interesting. It's got like a little muscle in there. That it's Very kinda, interesting. It's kind of like that, um, what's that jelly guy that, um, you know, like flubber? Jelly guy. You like flubber? Like a little, uh, a, a molten piece of character that just okay. kind of moves? Well, that's fake, but okay. I know, but it's kind of like that. It's like move, 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 move. <laughs> it, okay. Yeah. It's just. Interesting. I, I don't know how to describe this, but it's just blows, blow my mind. I so yeah, when I say I'd like to see it, I got nuts in my close teeth. Your count. <laughs> when I when I got nuts in my teeth, it means nothing. You could have a missing hand. Right. Right. That's one of like my biggest fears in life that I lose a limb. Did you know that? I don't think you did. I thought your biggest fear was to die in a fire. That's also that's a death. To stay alive without a limb really scares me. Which limb? Just one limb? Any limb? It's not as bad as you know more yeah, than Yeah, and limbs. I have a real fear of it. Huh. Yeah. I mean, if you you just know if you get the elbow thing, you can still type. I mean, I guess. That's not so bad. I guess not. <laughs> <laughs> Silver lining. <laughs> right. <laughs> Play for the Herrick podcast is brought to you by Petrilla Concrete Construction and doTERRA Essential Oils. You can get those from Aisla Mueller and her Insta handle is at this essential life. And if you like this podcast, please this has been a big week for me telling people to subscribe and raise a five. Like I ran yeah. into a lot of people. You and did? Like, can you? Yeah, I know. You can make oh. sure you subscribe or rate us a five. Share us with a friend. If you like the uh, episode, you just go like on Apple Podcasts or Spotify, put share, copy, or copy, <laughs> copy no, no, copy link, and you can and send it to right, your buddy. There so, you, go. you know, when it, we're so funny, you can send it to. So funny. Yeah, you can send it to people. And that will be good. That helps us. Right, dear? Right. Um, I'm glad during this episode that you brightened up. I'm Brad. I'm glad that you're bright and cheery now, and I'm glad that you're looking at me. Ah, you weren't looking at me. Well, and when you don't look at me, that's real mean. And now you look a much friendlier and much prettier. <laughs> Are you just trying to kiss? What do you my have ass? to say about that? <laughs> what say you? I think the the worst thing in the world for you is for me to not look at you and not talk to you. Right, that's why I forced you on the podcast. You didn't <laughs> talk to me all day, so I'm like, we got to do the podcast, all day, right? All afternoon. What? All afternoon. Yeah, all afternoon. But anyway, it's been a pleasure, dear. A pleasure. And it's that time. Last call. So who are we cheering today, um, my I think, love? I think I need to first give a shout out cheers to Teladoc for saving my ass today on a oh, Sunday. Oh, cheers to Teladoc. <laughs> Teladoc is a good Oh, my thing. God. Because, you know. It was a Sunday. I would have to go to, like, urgent care. Right. And this is over with. You're right. It was literally, I went, had a 9 a.m. appointment. It was on the phone for a total of 60 seconds and just had to wait for my prescription. So it was amazing. Right. Who are we, we're going to cheer one other cheers, right? Oh, yes. Who? We're going to cheers uh, Aislinn and Brody for we're inviting, inviting us, us to the to Kentucky the Derby. St. Albert's Kentucky Derby, Derby party. Sorry, we couldn't Gala. stay and dance. Yeah, we I, missed the dancing. I owe man. you some dancing. Your sister would have loved. Oh, my God, I know. They were, like, running out, and I could see the fun happening. But I was like, I'm going to fake pee my pants, so I got to go. Right. Right. I'm wondering if I should save this one thing till next week because I forgot about it. Or well, I mean, it's the maybe we should. The it's the end of the podcast. Maybe we should Just save read it. this. <laughs> <laughs> oh. <laughs> I think let's we better just save, save it for next we, week. That's almost the whole podcast to talk right. about. Let's save oh. it for next week. Let's just say I forgot about that. Let me give let me give the fans. We have some out there. <laughs> it has to do with massaging my feet. I let's guess. just say I mean, that. I don't know if that's going to bring people back next no, week. It's, <laughs> and if you want to tune in and hear this next week, it's going to be freaking great. I, did, I forgot about that. I mean, I have this big on my notes, and you I, did, to, like, I skipped over it. it. 
Well, I'll, now I'll know we'll have it in there. It's, it's going to be the, the highlight of next week's podcast. Oh, this boy. Is. I don't know. Well, we're also doing another gala, so I'm going to have a few highlights. Yeah. We're in gala. We have everything. What was that noise? That was the dog. We better get off the air. <laughs> Subscribe or follow us on wherever you listen to this podcast or go to our website at lifewitheric.com. And don't forget to follow us on social media for updates and a closer look into my life with Eric. To all of our listeners out there, remember, it's always happy hour here. Cheers, everybody. Cheers. Love you, baby. Love you. Hi, Nora Jones.